Okay, a very simpler form of the complex fraction. You have 5 over x divided by 7 over y. This middle line here is known as the central division line. It's not known as that, I just made it up. Okay. So we're going to make that into an div actual division operational sign. Now we put the top fraction, 5 over x, divided by the bottom fraction, 7 over y. Now if you forgot how to divide fractions, that's fine. So you're going to write 5 over x, and you're going to make the division multiplication, and then you're going to flip the second fraction, not the first, the second, y over 7. Now extend that line. So there's no parentheses involved here because there's no plus or minus. So we got 5 times y on the top, and we got x times 7 on the bottom. Now the 5 and the 7 would not be, re be re able to be reduced because on the GCF list, I mean it's like the GCF, they would only be divisible by 1, so that's going to stay 5 over 7. The, the variables are not the same, so we can't cancel them out, so we're still going to have times y and times x. Or you can put, you can write the answer like that, or you can just put 5y over 7x, it's up to you. Either one's good, they mean the same thing. Actually, you'll see me just putting them together at that point. 10 over y divided by 3 over x. Okay, so there's your central division line right there. So the first fraction is 10 over y divided by 3 over x. So you're going to keep that as 10 over y. You're going to switch that to multiplication, then you're going to put x over 3. Okay. At times you can extend that so there'd be no parentheses. Now there's going to be some parentheses coming at you, but for now we just have 10 times x and then 3 times y. 10 and 3 can only be reduced by a factor of 1. Don't divide 10 by 3, okay? I don't want any decimals here. So it's 10 over 3, and we'd have x and y would just stay there. You can put times if you want. Now, if you want to pause the video and do problem number one, that's fine. That shouldn't be too much of a chore, but then it's going to get a little more complex. Okay, next problem. 4 over x plus 8 over y divided by 3 over x plus 4 over y. That's a 4. Now, this is my central division line. But we have a little problem. We have two fractions we have to add on top, so I want you to write right here 4 over x plus 8 over y. And you have to add fractions on bottom, three below the central division line, 3 over x plus 4 over y. Now you're adding fractions. To add fractions, you need a common denominator. Okay. Right now we have an x and a y, so extend the lines, just drop everything. And what do we have for the denominators? CD means common denominator. That's why it says CD. You have X and Y. So X, Y. How many X's are in the first denominator? One. How many X's are in the second? Zero. So I need them both to have one. So I have times X times X. Okay, Y. How many Y's we got in the denominator? Zero in the first fraction, one in the second. So we go to the zero and we times y and times y. Now it's mission accomplished because we now have a common denominator. Okay, Either put y times x or x times y. I don't care which one. Okay, doesn't really matter. They're the same. Now on top, you, got, on top you look at the whole thing. So 4 times y is 4y and then 8 times x is 8x. Now you need to put a parentheses around that sum. You're not going to add them. They're not like terms. That's multiplied by y. That's multiplied by x. But a plus, a sum, I want grouped in a parentheses. So that's your first fraction, the quantity 4y plus 8x over y times x. Now we also have to add to figure out what comes out of the second. Okay, the 3 over x plus 4 over y. So you have to apply your common denominator. So you have a 3 a 4, and an x and a y. So for common denominators, well, we have x, we have y. So for x, I have 1 and 0. 
So I have to get this zero so it has a factor of x. And then I have to pretty much repeat the same process with the y. I have zero and one. So times y times y. So now we have our common denominator, y times x, or x times y. It doesn't matter which denominator you use, but they're the same. So 3 times y is 3y, then we put a plus, and 4 times x is 4x, wrap that up, okay, and that's what you're going to put here. So the quantity 3y plus 4x divided by y times x. So what you will be doing is making that multiplication. You will keep the first fraction as is, the quantity 4y plus, when I say quantity, that means it needs to be in a parentheses, y times x. Then you will flip that to y times x over the quantity 3y plus 4x. Okay. Now, make these two lines. The parentheses aren't doing anything. If they're not the same, which they're not, 4y plus 8x, 3y plus 4x, they will be in your answer. Okay. They are in the final quotient. It doesn't matter the order you write those, but you can't cancel those. The only way you can cancel is that the parentheses matched up identical, and they don't. Now, outside, you have y times x on top, and you have y times x on the bottom. Well, guess what? That's just a wipeout, okay? So there's your answer. 4y plus 8x over the quantity 3y plus 4x. You do not cancel anything inside the parentheses unless the parentheses match up identical, which they do not. Okay, next one. Central division right lines right there. Okay. Okay, so we got 5 over x plus 8 over y. We have to add fractions. Now, we didn't have to do this on the first couple. We were ready to write the division out. Okay. But now, see, I need to combine those into a single fraction, and I need to combine the denominator into a single fraction. So common denominator, 5x, 8y. Now, you have an x factor and a y factor. So the x factor, I have 1 and 0. So we would multiply by x here so that they both have 1. y, 0 and 1. So we would multiply by y here. So on the bottom, y times x. Now, 5 times y is 5y, plus 8 times x is 8x. Wrap that up into a parentheses. So you have the quantity 5y plus 8x over y times x. Now, the second one. Denominators, you got to match them common denominator. You got 3x, 4, and y. So you have x and y. So x, 0 and 1. So you need to get times x times x. Then the, then the y, you have 1 to 0. Or 0 and 1, I should say. Zero to one, yeah. Okay. So x zero to one, y. Yeah, we just need to get a y here. Okay. So zero one c times y times y. Okay. Not sure what was going through my head there. So you got y times x. Now the bottoms match. You just circle one of the bottoms and write it. It doesn't matter which bottom you go off of. Now you can combine the top three times y is three y plus. 4 times x is 4x, okay? And that's your second fraction. So the quantity, please put that plus expression because that's two terms in a quantity. The bottom does not go, just multiplication should not be parenthesized. It's the sums, the addition signs, or the subtraction signs. So then I switch that to multiplication, and I'm going to have the quantity 5y plus 8x over y times x, but over here I flip it to y times x over the quantity of 3y plus 4x. That's how you divide fractions. You actually end up multiplying. Okay, so the parentheses factors stay. Those will be in my answer. 
if they're not the same, they have to be a dead match. They're not a dead match, so they will be in my answer. 5y plus 8x over 3y plus 4x. Then the outsides, you got y times x. These are just outside factors, and y times x. That, once again, is a dead cancel. Okay, So 5y plus 8x over 3y plus 4x. Okay, now the next problem, central division lines right here. Now the top, we're good, okay? I got an 8, I would put a 1 under it, so it's ready to go. So I don't have to combine anything on, this, on top of the central division line, but the bottom, yeah. I have 4 over x plus y. And you're like, well, why, why does, what's y's denominator? Nothing, it's empty, and don't put a 1 either, okay? Because when you go to get your common denominator, you're going to have 4 over x, y. Putting a 1 is senseless on a common denominator. Okay, You have an x, and that's it. You have 1 to 0. Okay? 1, 0, so I want to get them so they both have 1. Remember, you got to times that on top. Now, they both match. They both have x in the denominator. Okay, Just copy down one of your two bottoms. Now I put the plus, and I just have 4, and then y times x. Just write that as yx, please. Okay, and that goes in a parentheses. So we're dividing that by the quantity 4 plus yx over x. Now switch that to multiplication. The 8 stays over 1, but then the x comes to the top, and the quantity 4 plus yx goes on the bottom. Okay. Now your quantity, the parentheses, that's in the answer. The only way that would be able to be crossed out is if you had a quantity of parentheses just like it on top, which we don't have, 4 plus yx. Now outside factors, we got 8 times x on the top and a 1 on the bottom. Now 8 and 1, you can't simplify because the only thing you can divide them by is 1, so that would stay 8 over 1. And the x has to stay 2 because there's no x on the bottom for it to cancel with. So it would be 8x. Really, you can keep the 1 there. You really don't need a multiplier of 1 outside of parentheses. It would just be 8x over the quantity 4 plus yx. Okay, three more. Okay, here's the central division line. What's quite obvious in front of it, we're just going to have a 4. Okay. We don't need to combine anything. We have to combine the, fir the, the terms on the bottom. 3 over y plus x. x has an empty denominator. Okay, So, common denominator. You have y and that's it. So I have 1 and 0. Okay, So I'll bring a y here and multiply it to the top. Now the denominators match with a common denominator of y. They're the same. Now I put my plus, you put 3, then x times y you just write as xy, but please parenthesize that expression. You don't put the parentheses, it's going to get really confusing really fast. So that's your second fraction, you'll be dividing by the quantity 3 plus xy. Over 1, so we keep the 4 over 1. Now, if you're like, well, I thought you didn't put it on 1. Well, when I'm dividing and multiplying, I do. When I'm dividing, I definitely do. So then I reciprocate that. Y over the quantity, the parentheses of 3 plus xy. So my parentheses will be in the product, okay? The only way I would cross it out is if I had one just like it on the top, which I don't have. So I have the quantity 3 plus xy. Now, outside, you got 4 times y, and you got 1. Okay, so 4 and 1, you can only divide those down by 1. Okay, so I don't think you really probably want to do that, because it just stay the same. And then the y factor is still on the top. You really don't need the 1. Okay, See, it's like 4 times y is 4y, then just 1 times that. Okay, now central division line. Well, now I don't know either one. I have fractions to combine on top and on bottom. So I have 4 plus 3 over x on top, and then 3 
plus 4 over 3x on bottom. Okay, now underline that and we got to find our common denominator. So we got 4 and then 3 over x. So the common denominator, the, the, for a common denominator, I would just be looking at x. It's the only factor you have, 0 and 1. So we need to go x and x. Okay. So x is your common denominator. Put the plus. 4 times x is 4x, and then 3. Again, you can't add these because one's multiplied by x, one's not. So that's your first fraction, 4x plus 3 over x. Flow, I forgot, put that in parentheses. Okay. You don't do that, it's going to be really screwed up. Okay, the common denominator here, okay. Now remember, you don't put 3x. 3x means 3 times x. They're separate factors, so you have a 3 and you have an x, okay. So for 3s, you don't count the one on top. There's no 3s on the bottom. That would be 0. There's one right there. So you'd bring a 3 in here and times 3 on top. Now for x, you have 0 and 1. Okay. So you would times x and times x. So now you have your common denominator, 3x. Or you can... Then I put the plus sign. Well, 3 times 3 is 9 times x would be 9x. Okay. See, that's 9 and then we would have 4. Please put a quantity around that. So it's the quantity of 9x plus 4 over 3x. Now we switch that to a multiplication. The top stays, the first one stays exactly the same. It's the second one that I need to reverse it and put reciprocate it, I should say, 9x plus 4. You can extend that into a single line now. So the parentheses aren't doing anything. They're totally different. They're in your final answer. Okay, 4x plus 3 over 9x plus 4. Now, non-parenthesized factors, you have a 3x on top, you have an x on the bottom. Well, the 3 does nothing, but the x over the x is a wipeout. Okay? So... And by the way, if you wanted to multiple distribute that, you can. I'm not going to make you. Okay. Be 12x plus 9. Okay, our last problem. So central division line is right there. So remember, my whole goal when I come down here is to just get two fractions. So I need to add 3 plus 8 over x. And on bottom, I need to do 2 plus 5 over 2x. So the common denominator needs to be applied because this don't put a 1 under it. You don't need to because you're going to have something there here in a bit. So you have 3 over 8 and then x. So the only thing I have to worry about in the denominator is the x factor, 0 and 1. So we need an x times an x. Now we have the common denominator at x, and then 3 times x is 3x, and then 8. Parenthesize that, please. So it's the quantity of 3x plus 8 over x. Get the parentheses down. Okay. Now here, extend the lines. So the common denominator. We have nothing, and then we have a 2. That means 2x is 2 times x, so we do it with 2 and with x. So 2, remember, you don't count what's on top. You have 0 2s on the bottom here. You have 1 here. So get them so they both have 1. So you go 2 and then times 2. Now the x, 0 and 1. Okay. So times x times x. Now the common denominators are set, 2x. Put a plus sign. 2 times 2 is 4 times x is 4x. Okay. And then 5. Put the round that. Okay, so the quantity 4x plus 5 over 2x. Okay, now flip that to multiplication. The first one stays the same. 
and times you want to put 2x on top and then this the quantity 4x plus 5 again a plus minus you need to put in parentheses so those fractions it's similar to the when I get down here it's similar to when I do the three lines but I don't need to do any factoring that's why there's only two okay so I put the two quantities there so I got the quantity 3x plus 8 and the quantity 4x plus 5 and the outside factors we have 2x and x well, the 2 can't be simplified, that would stay, but the x over x is a wipeout, and then there we have it.